Good morning, this is Ron from 724 Support TV. Today we're gonna to do an unboxing and build of an IB Bridge um, video editing system using a Fractal Arc Mini computer case. Today, we'll start off with an unbox and overview of the Arc Mini computer case. We'll cover off then the uh, both the SP120, which we'll use in a water cooling system, and the AF120 as well as possibly the AF140 and in case there's some space considerations around putting in the H100, we'll go with the, the Kaze Slim 120. Okay, so when you get the Corsair H100, it's gonna come with a pair of Corsair fans, which are lovely fans, and you can use them if you like. They're big wide blades for high static pressure. That would work fine. For our build, we're going to replace those with the Corsair SP series, similar blade design. Extraordinarily similar blade design. Um, static pressure fans. I might do a back to back test, that'd be interesting. Um, <clears throat> additionally, though, the, the case comes with a variety of pre installed fans. They are 120 by 25, nice fans. We're gonna remove all of those from the case and replace some of them. <clears throat> In this build, I'm gonna reuse two of them. Also, here are the two things you need to get extra in addition to the fans. One slim scythe 120 by 12 fan. This will go in the back of the case right here. I remove the this one and I'm gonna put this one in there. Second thing you need to do, since Corsair sends you screws, eight screws, short little guys, uh, and eight long screws. These are both 632. This is 632 by one and a quarter inch screw. It's a screw, it's not focusing, but it is. <clears throat> you will need eight more of those and eight washers. So go down to the hardware store and number six washers and six 32 by one and a quarter inch screws, flathead, Phillips. Uh, black would be better, but I didn't get black for this bill. The first thing you want to do here, if you've taken fans out of the case, is mount two 120s directly to the radiator using either the supplied hardware or the equivalent hardware from the hardware store. The SP series comes with interchangeable rings, so using red rings to match the red motherboard. That was the easy part. Now you could go with two more of these fans, four, two more of these fans matching, uh, but they will be invisible. Or you could use the Fans that come with each 100, or in our case, what we're going to do is use the takeouts okay, from Fractal. I might change these later, but these will work fine. So here's where it's going to go up here. This is G Skill Ripjaw memory which is got some spreader but it's not not too tall not too short and it's not ugly so it goes nice with the Maximus 5 gene board but that's where it's going to go you want to have close to hand but not installed all eight of these screws with the washers already on them and you're going to take 
the radiator carefully and place your two fans on it with the cables behind as you're going to want them. Now bring them up to the roof. and attach the screws. The first one is the hardest. A dual radiator installed with room between the fan and the memory. And a push pull configuration. Again, the 12 millimeter exhaust fan. Your choice of standard 120 by 25s for those. All the cables in a nice bundle down the middle. They'll plug into the water block slash pump slash reservoir that is currently hiding in this little bag. Right there. That's it. It's been Ron from 724 Support TV showing you how to put push pull H100 into a fractal design arc mini case.